God, do I need a drink. Sure is odd. We make small decisions in our lives that affect others, like a whole nation of others. The American dream became just that, a dream. And the ex-US of A has me to thank. And God, am I thirsty. I don't deserve this. In hindsight, America wasn't that bad for a kingdom of fear. But these folks play for real and for keeps. I've already escaped twice and wham, back in the slammer. I had earned two PhDs and a mantle of numerous awards for my atmospheric research. And here's your prize, pal. No babes in bikinis or fast cars. No, you get to walk on ancient bags of penguin shit and collect data samples. Oh, joy. And that's when the phone call came in. The call that changed my life and the destiny of the world. Jennings! Jennings, come in, Jennings. Mark, you there? Jennings here. Great. Listen, Jennings, you have an urgent satellite phone call here. Back at the ship. Tell them I'll be right there. Man, I drove that jet boat so fast, I didn't even see the icebergs before I hit them. I mean, when you get a call dealing with amounts of money like that, the whole world seems to become blurry, and you just focus on taking that next step or answering that phone. Nothing else mattered. Ozone depletion, global warming, who cares? Get me out of here. Jennings, how's that ozone analysis going? Uh, great, Rivington. Listen, uh, uh, I've talked to you in a minute. I got an important sad phone call to get. Hello, this is Jennings. Okay. At what price? Okay, well, I don't have the data here. Mm hmm. All right, I'll be there as soon as possible. That phone call changed my life all right. I was gonna be a player now. Get out of that cold mound of penguin shit, ice, and bunch and volcanic spew. I just couldn't wait to sit at a cafe, sip a cappuccino, and watch the girls shop. I was already thinking about what color my Ferrari should be. Should I buy the Ocean View Villa, mountain ski cabin, or 100 foot trimaran? How about all three for this? All I had to do was click a few keyboard buttons and my new life would begin. At least that's what I thought at the time. Hacking the Pentagon's computer hadn't been that difficult. Since I already had security clearance for my research on ozone depletion and its military implications, when I stumbled across the Nikola Tesla patents and designs. I mean, the guy was way ahead of his time. No wonder the army wanted his stuff kept top secret. It was time for some payback for all those late nights poring over data and writing lengthy papers for high-level officials who didn't give a shit while they drank champagne in limos with darkened windows and women servicing them I was doing late nighters to present the ever-increasing danger of earth accelerated warning and what did I get for all this an isolated field position in one of the most inhospitable places on earth payback time
Trans-Pacific flight left me dazed but determined. I had been given an apartment address in downtown Sydney to do the exchange. last the day. If I could change the events of one day in my life, this day would have been the one. But the money was calling. And which password were you given? Uh, password? A uh, person? No, uh, a Perseus. Perseus? You can come in now, Mr. Jennings. I had made a deal with an Asian devil who wore slinking miniskirts and had mesmerizing eyes. Her body cards didn't seem that menacing, but I'm sure they had a few moves to put out anyone who wasn't behaving nicely. A long flight, Mr. Jennings. Yes, well, I uh, dozed off for a while, but uh, I wouldn't call it sleeping. You'll find it'll be well worth your troubles, Mr. Jennings. <laughs> Hard to put a price tag on trouble. Seven million US dollars will be transferred to your private account with the Bank of Bermuda as specified. That is when you present us with the data. It's right here. Are you sure nothing has been corrupted? Besides my oath of allegiance to the United States of America, I think everything else is intact. You'll find that the Tesla particle beam materials are intact with no cookies or ident tags to follow them up. What does your government want with these old classified materials anyways? Your Mr. Tesla was a brilliant man. Even though it has been over 70 years, we are in awe of his wave theories. What you hold in your hand will help solve many of our concerns. You've got to be kidding me. Particle beam weaponry? Not a weapon, Mr. Jennings. A tool. You will soon see how beneficial this tool can be with a little help from the sun. May I have the disc now? Only if you promise me dinner. I have a very busy schedule now, Mr. Jennings. I'll arrange the money transfer once I have veri verified the contents. Good night, Mr. Jennings. <laughs> My party? This was good, huh? <laughs> What's your name? Excuse me, sir. Sorry to bother you. There's a phone call for you. Who is it, Randall? He wouldn't say, sir. He said it was urgent. Something about Project Perseus. Yes, this is Jennings. Who is this? Let's just say I'm a concerned colleague who needs to talk to you about some data from Project Perseus. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do, Mr. Jennings. It would be in your best interest to meet me at LAX tonight at the Encounters Building. Hit the elevator button twice slowly and you'll be taken to our rendezvous point. Your password number will be 075261. 7 p.m. should give you sufficient time. See you then, Mr. Jennings. Damn prank phone calls.
scan identification. Please state your name and password number. Jennings, 075261. You have been cleared for security. Please proceed to the main hall. I suppose you're the one who called? Brilliant observation, Mr. Jennings. I've admired your deductive reasoning for some time. You know my name, but who are you? Let's just call me Mr. X. Names are irrelevant for the most part. What you should be concerned about is your future, Mr. Jennings. It could be very bleak. What are you talking about? Is this some kind of joke? Just say I have a hobby of looking at data on various computer systems worldwide and I noticed some interesting activity recently on the Space Environment Center computers in Boulder. What got my attention was the choice of old Nikola Tesla patents for particle beam weapons. Ever hear of the Greek myth about the Trojan horse? Your Asian friends have come up with a very clever update. Hey, listen, you, you have no proof of this. This doesn't matter much to us anymore, Mr. Jennings. Your Chinese friends have done some interesting things with the information you provided. I noticed your Bank of Bermuda account grew very large recently. How much do you want? Money doesn't concern me. I can create numbers in any number of bank accounts worldwide. Why do you bother to tell me this if you don't want money? You've given me much entertainment recently, and your actions will result in a large increase of my investments in China. For this, I give you some simple advice. Get on a jet for Asia now, before it's too late. See Jen, Mr. Jennings. Vodka martini, stirred, not shaken. Also today, in an act of goodwill and peace, the Chinese government presented the city of Los Angeles with a modern sculpture dedicated to easing tensions between the two superpowers. The name Perseus is actually inspired from a Greek myth. The dedication ceremony was attended by Mir Rare End and delegates of the Chinese embassy. The five-ton statue was erected by specialists from China who arrived just a few days ago on a special cargo flight. Wonder if it's stamped made in China. <laughs> and now on to West. sculpture emitted that particle beam we had no idea what would happen except that it was like when Ben Franklin flew his kite and the lightning bolt hit and struck the earth but this was no lightning bolt this was an electromagnetic pulse like the earth had never seen before look at the CME look how fast it is I've never seen anything like this before Wow. Look at the ACE satellite data. Look, it's taking off all of a sudden. It's looking like there's a shock hitting that bird right now. It's not possible. It's unbelievable. It can't be that quick. Now, if this thing hits with a radiation storm at these levels, everything on the sunlit side of the Earth electromagnetic is going to have major problems. Shit, we've lost the satellite. What's happening? Jeez, whoa. Look at that Greenland data coming in all of a sudden. That's going off the scale. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. Good God! Send out the rapid alert immediately. What's on the solid side of the Earth right now? Let's see, uh, geez, North America, South America, Europe, the International Space Station. We're gonna lose everything.
Well, as you can guess, I missed that flight. Oh, man, I'm thirsty right now. And here I am, in the wasteland of what was once the good old USA, Sunset Boulevard, with my Chinese dinner date. It's time to get back to the camps, Mr. Jennings. Oh, my God. 